Na, na, na. Welcome to Stomp the Idiot. I am the huge one, a.k.a. the idiot, Dave Coco from Cocosports.net or KOCOSports.com. It takes you to the same place. It's where the world comes to kick ass. Your home for combat sports and above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. All right. And also, please check out ProWrestling.me. We're launching a community where we're all going to be equals and talk about nothing but pro wrestling. It should be fun. For those that don't know what Stump the Idiot is, it is this show where I try to answer as many questions as I can in my free time about the internet infantry. Um, recently, I've decided not to review TNA, and I've taken a break. And I've had a thousand, no, nah, I'm being a little sarcastic, but I had a lot of comments like, oh, why, why not no TNA reviews? Why give up on TNA and not WWE? And it's a great question. Um, it's best phrased from, I mean, they, they've had a lot of different people uh, ask me, but it wasn't really phrased that good. You're like, I hope you die, WWE fanboy. But yeah. Um, but the best way it was uh, worded was from Graham Alexander Harper on Facebook, who said, totally understand your reasons for taking time out on TNA. Thank you. I've been watching for around uh, eight years now, and even I feel like doing the same. But, and please don't take this as a TNA defender question, no problem. What is it about WWE that keeps you tuning in? I ditched WWE almost a decade ago for all the same reasons so many ex-WWE fans and uh, viewers have cited. All right, so, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to review all pro wrestling, but at the same time, I want the channel to grow, and at the same time, I want to have fun. And basically... TNA, we we we, decided we were doing we were doing individual reviews for it, and it, it didn't get the best of stats and none of that. But there's other reasons besides stats. But we decided to do a war room, where basically I forced four or five of my friends to watch TNA when they didn't want to. Um, none of the staff wanted to watch TNA, and I was like, no, 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 we'll review it. We'll have one big show and review it. It'd be fun. And they're like, oh, all right, we'll try our best. And um, yeah, it, it was just, if we review, if we do a Stump the Idiot, if we review New Japan, if we review Ring of Honor, yeah, our views don't have the same effect as if they were WWE, without a doubt. But TNA was the only place where we lost subscribers, and there's no win. There's a no-win situation with reviewing TNA. And I just had to take a break. And a big reason is, it, it's same thing that's happened in politics, it's it's become a religion. It's become a religion. You can give TNA all the praise in the world. All the praise in the world. And be like, oh, on the fourth segment, this was bad. And they're like, are you a WWE fanboy? Only idiots talk like that. Think about it. They're like, oh, well, I think we should do this. What are you? Our elephant voter? Are you this? And it, so it got fucking plain. Um, the TNA audience is very small on our channel. And they're very loyal. So, and, and it's like, well, do you want us to review an honest review? Or are we supposed to always? And here's the thing. Um, this is a really fun hobby. But I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to fucking lie and not be honest. Like, I always joke, and this is why I joke, and I'll go into more details. Um, I'm willing to sell out. I'm not willing to sell out for no money. This is just fun. This is my honest views. And there are people that like, oh, review TNA, review TNA, review TNA, but give TNA the best marks in the world. Well, it doesn't deserve the best marks in the world. And I always found something good about TNA with the EC3 storyline. And I pre-warned everyone. I pre-warned everyone. I said, dude, if EC3 loses to Matt Hardy, I'm done. I'm throwing up the white flag and I'm done. And I don't know if I'm going to be done forever. I'm just done for now. And the reason why I'm done for now is we joke around about the Ric Flair Award for blaming stuff on the internet. If I reviewed TNA, it would literally be me making fun of TNA fans for a half hour. And I, I couldn't do it. I, I don't I don't want to be here. I don't want to be that guy on YouTube that's, like, oh, the fans, the internet are stupid. It's just you can't say anything bad about TNA. Um, we have T, what we call TNA defenders. They're on YouTube, and I'm friends with them. You know, it's funny because, like, now they don't review TNA. They're like, oh, we'll just fucking talk less to you. Not <laughs> like, dude, I don't know. It's it's weird. The internet's a really weird place, bro. 
Um, let me put it this way. If you ever stop talking to someone because of pro wrestling, politics, you're just not a good person. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. If you're like, well, I used to be good friends with this guy, but now he's, he votes for fucking turtles instead of donkeys. You're fucked up in the head, bro. Um, but TNA has become a cult. It's become a religion. And here's the thing. Um, I, I remember dealing with T TNA um, YouTubers, and I was like, yeah, come on on, because, dude, I couldn't find anyone. My staff didn't want to fucking review it. I was like, sure. But then they just come on, and they blindly defend it. They don't they don't review it. They're just like, well, it's this, it's that, it's this. You could be watching WWE. And it's like, no, there's other options. You know, like best case scenario, all right, TNA's booking is horrible, but it's got good wrestling. It's not as good as New Japan's. I, I don't understand. Like, just take a step over and see something else. And not only that, but you really can't review it. It's not fun. And why don't I give up on WWE? Because... The Matt Hardy thing. When Matt Hardy, I, I prior to Matt Hardy winning the title, dropping the title, and it, having this horrible tournament, I remember going to all my TNA buddies and pals and going, "Hey, listen, bro, bro, if Matt Hardy wins, I'm fucking done. If Matt Hardy fucking wins, I'm done." And like three or four of them said, "Oh, I'll be on the show." All of them no showed, but they didn't even have the balls to do it. And then they had to figure out how to spin it, and then. They made the mistake, like there's three YouTubers that made the mistake of putting me in Facebook chats and like, oh, we have to find a way to defend TNA. And I'm like, no, we don't. We don't, we don't fucking know. We review. We fucking fun. This is hobby. I ain't fucking defending shit unless they pay me. <clears throat> and that's why I keep saying, no, oh, <clears throat> in the 80s and 90s, we sold out for money. Nowadays, we sell out because we don't know what the fuck else to do. Um, so yeah, no, and I didn't want to make a big deal about it. I just, but I got a lot of fucking questions and I'm done. And, and here's the thing, TNA, the Matt Hardy thing sucks. No matter what company it is, that storyline is fucking horrible. Uh, you know, and I, I did this with Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy or CM Punk, WWE fanboy, Jeff Hardy's here to save the world. Uh, no, Jeff Hardy is Jeff Hardy, no matter what company he's in. Matt Hardy's Matt Hardy. Now, granted, if you repackage him like EC3, you might have something. But the Hardys are the same fucking douche as they've always been. And I just don't get it. If you had a two-year storyline buildup and you ruined it in four days, I don't care if it was in Big Japan, New Japan, Dragon Gate, TNA, Ring of Honor. It's a bad fucking storyline. And yet you're like, oh, we have to find a way to defend it. I don't have to find a way to defend shit. I'm just going to give my honest opinion. And the reason I don't do it with WWE is because here's the thing. If I come on here and be like, WWE fucking sucks. They need to improve. No WWE fan goes, well, fucking, fucking you're just a TNA fanboy. Oh, well, we have to find a way to defend it. No, they have thick skin. WWE fans know it sucks sometimes. TNA fans can't. They, they, they are picked on so much. It's such a religion. They have to find a way to defend it. And I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not going to blindly defend something because it gets picked on. I'm not going to blindly defend something. If the Matt Hardy storyline was fucking horrible. It was fucking horrible. Dude, <clears throat> take away the names. Two-year storyline, great heel, the only thing in your company that's been a steady rock. It's like, hey, dude, everything on the undercard, every four weeks resets. But we have a steady rock. And in four days... You change that, and now you have a – no, no, that's just bad. But TNA fans can't fucking deal with that. You know, and they'll be like, you're just a WWE fan. All right, whatever, dude. I'm a WWE fanboy. Sure. You win, and that's it. Um, I'm just taking a break because I would literally every TNA review make fun of TNA fans, and I don't want to be that show. I, I don't. I just don't want to be that show. All right, let's do, let's see. LB Clash of Kings ask everybody's a defender, supporter of companies. No, no. See right there, I gotta stop you. Never. Remember what I always say: defend an idea. I used to be a huge All Japan fan. Let me tell you, I won't even. If All Japan was like 
hey, you got no toilet paper. Here's an all Japan shirt to wipe your ass. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to wait out. I'm going to wait up. I'm going to wait up. I, I don't even want to wipe my ass with all Japan. But all Japan used to be my favorite. You don't defend companies. If a company is doing great, you praise it, but you defend an idea. You defend what you like. Always defend ideas. Never defend parties. Never defend countries. Never defend a company. Defend an idea in pro wrestling or in anything. Uh, no, no, if a company fucking sucks, like, I'm a huge ECW fan, I ain't gonna blindly defend fucking Vince McMahon's pile of shit he called ECW. All Japan doesn't deserve to be defended these days. No, you defend the idea of the best wrestlers, get the best wrestlers that connect with the crowd. This is my idea for wrestling. The best wrestlers who connect with the crowd get the pushes and get the title wins, heel or face. That's the way it is. <coughs> But you don't defend companies. You defend a company. The company could do anything. It could do anything. Don't be a – no. Um, everybody's a defender, a supporter of companies. No, you become a supporter of ideas. Come. I don't see why being a TNA supporter slash defender is any different than being a Lucha Underground defender, WWE defender, ROH defender, New Japan defender. I guess, yeah. I'm, I'm neither of those. If New Japan sucks, I put them on blast. If ROH sucks, I put them on blast. If WWE sucks, we put them on blast. If Lucha Underground sucks, we put them on blast. We had someone in creative join our podcast and we put them on blast. You don't defend a fucking company. You defend an idea. Yeah, if you're going to blindly defend New Japan, then you're a fucking idiot. So, yeah, but here's the thing. Most people that, it's not as bad as TNA. TNA is the worst. But with that said, with that said, New Japan English-speaking fans, holy shit, you are fucking skyrocketing with fucking being a pain in the ass, fucking blind loyalty bullshit. Um, but yeah, no, don't defend a company, don't defend a party, don't defend a country, defend an idea, and then find out what the idea is important to you. Yeah, everyone's a defender. No, I'm not a defender of a company, not one. And that looks like I get paid. You fucking pay me. I'm going to be honest to be like, I get paid by Big Japan. They're awesome. Yeah, no. If you're not going to get paid, why fucking blindly defend a company? You think that company gives a shit about you? I mean, you honestly believe that TNA gives a shit about you? No, they could give two shits about you, man. Um, Let's see. Bruno666 Tayades says two questions. No problem. One, is Okada and versus Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom 10, uh, I've been complaining about this one for a while, with Nakamura being pushed aside as bad as Rock versus Cena <coughs> at WrestleMania 29 with Punk being pushed aside. Uh, is WrestleMania 29 the second time they fought? Hold on, WrestleMania 29. Doo -doo -doo. It would be like the second time they fought. I don't think it would be like the first time. The first time, no. Um, Wrestle Kingdom 10, um... It, it's they. To, I know. I know why they do it. I get to talk to someone in New Japan. They don't pay me except with steaks and free T-shirts. But I still fucking shit on them. Um, TNA pays me with free T-shirts. Matter of fact, I've never every T-shirt I've ever had worn. I've never paid for. Um, yeah. So um, speaking of um, yeah, it, it's bad because it's already been told in Japan. Like, there's a lot of people like this is a great rival. No, it's not. It's not a great story. Um, I remember I was at a Japanese bar, rest pro rest bar, and when Tanahashi went up for the second high five flow, whatever the fuck he calls, um, we were all dying laughing. Like, it was a fucking stand-up comedy. Um, yeah, it's just Tanahashi is kind of protected. He's the company guy. And the reason they're retelling the story, but if you ask any English-speaking fans, this is the greatest story ever told. The reason they're retelling the story is because they're getting into Western cultures and they want to have everyone on the same length. So they're sacrificing Japan audience just a little bit, hoping that they still will be there for them and everyone catches up. But yeah, the, the Nakamura should be the main event at Wrestle Kingdom 10. Um, Tanahashi Okada's feud should be over. And you could be like, oh, Japan has long feuds. Yeah, no, no, go look. Go look at the wrestle. Go look at the, and not even Wrestle Kingdoms. Go look out at the history of um, the one four shows. It's just, <coughs> it's just that they they you know because they're on access. They're at Ring of Honor. They're they're getting into the Western cultures, New Japan worlds, 
and they want to show that Tanahashi and Okada is a great feud, and they're hoping that it won't anger people that have already seen it. And it it, it is it is and it isn't. Um, but if life was fair and you went off my idea, um, where the best wrestler that sells the most merchandise over with the crowd. Now, it should be Nakamura versus Okada or Nakamura versus AJ Styles. Um, <clears throat> that should be your Wrestle Kingdom 10 main event if you're going off crowd reactions and all that fun stuff. But, you know, there's New Japan English-speaking fans that will be like, that's the greatest storyline ever, and it's not. It's already been done. It's been done. The story's been told. Um and, you know, speaking of almost giving up, um, if Tanahashi beats Okada at Wrestle Kingdom 10, yeah, that's that's bad. Not Matt Hardy beating EC3 in four days bad, but it's bad. And I'm going to pre-warn you, I said it in Wrestle Kingdom 9, I said it now. So when it happens at Wrestle Kingdom 10, I don't want to get all these emails like, oh, why are you down on New Japan? And man, you got to fucking tell a story. It's got to be good. Defend an idea, not a company. Um, do you believe that Tanahashi Okada really truly ended at King of Pro Wrestling 2013 and Wrestle Kingdom 9 should have just been a really good epilogue? Um, Wrestle Kingdom 9, it, it, it should be over. Okada and Tanahashi should not be touching each other um, in a perfect world. All right, let's put on my backseat booker here. Woo! Backseat booker, here I come. Okada should have beat Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom 9. Tanahashi should have jumped ship to Team Chaos, and it should have been Team Chaos versus Bullet Club. And the finals of, you know, the finals of the G1 could have been Okada, Nakamura, depending on their health, and the winner would go up against AJ Styles. And that's when you would sell the most tickets. That's where you'd get the most international attention and all that. Um, but if you've ever been live to New Japan, it's just a different reaction. How they shoot the cameras really matter. Um, you know, it's the same thing with WWE. You know, if the guy's not that over, it's a super close-up. If he's over, it's that. And it's funny because, you know, if you watch Wrestle Kingdom 9, you'd think Tanahashi's crazy over. <laughs> oh, that's camera work, bro. That is camera work. People are fucking empty and out of that building. Oh, um, you know, but ladies still love him and all that, so... And he's a better wrestler than John Cena. So we that's it. That's the thing. Like this way I go. <laughs> um, New Japan has such great wrestlers, even when their storylines are horrible. People forgive them. Um, but I don't know. It's just Okada versus Tanahashi. Um, I, I I go to wrestle I go to all the January fourth shows. I, I've even gone there before they were called Wrestle Kingdoms. Um, it's the biggest event of the year in the Tokyo Dome. And I, I, I usually always go, especially if I'm here in Japan. And I've only missed a couple for health or out of the country. And, um, yeah, this is the first time ever I can't find my local friends interested in it. Uh, my wife doesn't want to go. My son doesn't want to go. I, Japan, doesn't want to go. Like, none of my Japanese friends want to go. I need to expand my fucking circle of friends. Either that or we need to stop fucking putting on Tanahashi Okada matches. And everyone... Everyone came out, you know, they were like, hey, Coco, who, what's going to be the Wrestle Kingdom main event? You know, it was the night of the event and no one was watching. And I was like, oh, it's going to be Okada Tanahashi again. And like, literally like, we're not going, are we? And I don't know. New Japan's really good at hyping shit up, but I could just go off the pro rest bar laughing their asses off and my friends not interested, not interested at all. None. I have zero interest in going, but you know, New Japan is really good at hyping stuff up, and people change their mind. And here, the thing about Japan is they buy tickets last second. Um, do you believe? Oh yeah, I think it should have ended. Um, all right, Bryce Hoke says, I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I watch the 90 minute version of Raw on Hulu Plus because I don't have cable and I'm too lazy to be a pirate. Ah, eh, no problem. And I thought that Monday's Raw was a huge win. It went Stone Cold, Taker, Dudley's. Michaels, Rollins first Ryback, Roman's promos, Divas Authority. Uh, this is from a while back. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess if you watch Raw fast forward, you fast forward to say what you want. It's a shorter show. I think anything's more enjoyable that way. Um, I try to watch it live. Um, it sucks having commercials and stuff, but it is what it is. But, yeah, if you could cut shit out, it's always better. It's always better and faster. Um, maybe Raw would be more enjoyable. Um, the show you talked about, 
Um, it was funny too because like uh, the show with all the legends before the pay per view. I was like, you know, this ain't that bad of a show. And then I started breaking it down. I'm like, nope, it's just Legends Night. I fell for the nostalgia. Um, Chris Clark asked, what's so special about Cesaro? Please explain. Um, I, well, first off, there's a lot of factors that are special. One, he, he, you know, and right now, even WWE knows this, fans love wrestlers that wrestle. You know, there, there are people, especially younger fans, that are like, just in life in general. Well, I'm a writer. Well, what do you write? Well, nothing. Um, I'm a podcaster. Well, what do you podcast? I'm a let's player. What do you let's play? <coughs> People say they are something and not really it. And WWE is the only place where you can become a wrestler without ever being a wrestler. You can't do that on Broadway. You can't do that in Hollywood. You real? Uh, maybe you can. It's a little easier, but not nowhere near the success rate that WWE has. Um, you can't do that in sports. Can you imagine? Be like, NXT is a minor league, and you go and be like, well, hey, man. Yeah, this good-looking guy, he could start for quarterback. He's ever played quarterback? No, no, no. We're going to teach him how to play quarterback. It would be ridiculous. Same thing in Broadway. Um, so Cesaro has, he came up through the indies. He's a wrestler's wrestler. Um, I think with Dolph Ziggler selling out and not trying as hard, he passed the torch to Cesaro being the best wrestler in the company. Um, Cesaro is crazy strong. He's funny. Um, and I think he's the complete package. And I think that's why. Great wrestler. A wrestler's wrestler. <coughs> Traveled the world. Went on the indies. And strong. One, probably one of the strongest guys on the roster. Funny. Can cut promos, especially when he's being himself. Cesaro is one of those guys, if he's being himself, he's a hell of a lot funnier than, I guess, walking out with Tyson Kidd. <laughs> I don't even know if they give him mic time. And, you know, now that Dolph Ziggler decided, hey, I'm just a sellout piece of shit, and I'm not fucking ever going to try again, well, you pass the torch to Cesaro being the best of the company. And I think that's what makes him special. I think a lot of people think he's the best wrestler in the company. I might say best wrestler in the world, but I don't know. I don't know about all that. But he's really good, and that's what makes him special right now. And not all that, but um, CM Punk once said this, and I don't understand why no one understands this. In wrestling, the chase is great, but then you bring up a new guy, then you bring up a new guy, and you bring up something. I don't, I don't like, I don't know. Pro wrestling is so simple at times, but it seems like they don't do it because they're like, oh, we just hate the fucking fans. Fuck the fans where every other form of entertainment couldn't do that. But good news is WWE's ratings keep going lower and lower. Their profits get lower and lower. And maybe one day they'll be like, you know what? Maybe we should run this like a business. Um, Lennox Wooderson, could you rank these three companies for the 2015 run? All right. TNA, Lucha Underground, NXT, ROH. Um, hmm. I don't know. Me as a fan, I like Lucha Underground the best, but I don't want a Roman Reigns the slammy to him because do you count that as a full year? I mean, they had a season. They had a season finale. Um, I I really enjoy Lucha Underground, but if you would rank them for 2015 runs, <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. This is really tough. Um. All right, I, I'm not too sure. If someone fucking's like, hey, no, you're wrong, I'd be like, hey, you're probably right. This, I'm not very confident on these answers. I'm going to, I'm still going to say Lucha Underground because NXT is amazing, but they've had some shit shows in between pay per views. ROH goes up and down, and TNA, I, I think they've had the worst 2015. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, maybe I'm penalizing him too hard, too hard for Matt Hardy, but Lucha Underground, NXT, and ROH haven't done something where I just like, yeah, dude. Like, I literally called a meeting. Like, yeah, we, we, could, we don't have to review TNA anymore. I mean, if you want to do it by yourself, go ahead. No one stepped up. <laughs> so no one's really fucking running to the plate. <coughs> so I'm going to say Lucha Underground, <coughs> NXT, ROH, TNA. And... I don't know. I'm not too. I'm not too confident with that answer. That that answer could shake up and down. Uh, Lennox Wooderson says, "Push Barry Fire Cameron, Cameron uh, Baron Corbin, Eva Marie. Uh, I would fire Eva Eva Marie. Oh my 
Cameron, Baron Corbin. I'd probably bury Corbin and push Cameron, but I'm not really too sure about that. Eva Maria, definitely fire. Completely worthless. Um, Adrian Carmen K, we'll just say K because I can't pronounce your last name. Buy or sell question time. All right, all right, I'll try my best. Um, I think this is more of a, another podcaster's gimmick, and I don't want a gimmick infringement, but I'll try my best for buy and sell. Pentagon Jr. or Bray Wyatt? All right, Pentagon Jr. or Bray Wyatt, buy or sell. As a fan, I buy Pentagon Jr. As a businessman, like if I was TNA and I had to get steal one, uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, Ricochet or Johnny Gar Ricochet? Like you could Ricochet or Everlasting Life Ricochet. Rick <laughs> John Morrison or Drew Galloway? Uh, John Morrison. Phoenix or Manic Phoenix? Albert El Patron or Carlito? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say Carlito, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say Carlito. I'm not very confident with that answer, but I'll say Carlito. Uh, <clears throat> Jose, how would you rank the success of the eight NXT rookies? All right, I don't know. I don't, can't remember the eight NXT rookies from season one, so I'll get back to you on that one. All right, so I'm going to save that one for another time. Let me see. Boop, boop, boop. Wow, we have viewers. I wasn't expecting that at this time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the views. Do, do, do. Yeah, in Japan, it's 8.21 p.m. So, I pre oh, we got a lot of comments. I didn't expect this at all, so I appreciate it. Um, E.K. Cuff, and he's also on ProWrestling.me putting up photos. I really appreciate that. I have to integrate ProWrestling.me with this show a lot more. Uh, Bobby Roode, Austin Aries for NXT. Um, <clears throat> definitely Bobby Roode. Um, Austin Aries... I don't know. I used to love Austin Aries a lot, but now I'm just kind of like, eh, he's Austin Aries. Um, they are the only reason I'm still watching TNA. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Austin Aries is still there. I think he's only there in recorded land. Um, the Moon says, ideas before institutions. Very well said, sir. Thank you, The Moon. Robert Kofi says, there's no point with TNA. I don't think they care about the fans. I think WWE is trying to get better. I hope I can dream. Yeah, and NXT, and WWE, even in their hard times, they have, like, they'll throw you a bone every now and then. They're like, hey, dude, it fucking sucks, but here's CM Punk. It sucks, but here's Daniel Bryan. And TNA, it's just, I don't know, man. It, it's, it can be depressing at times because you think they're on the right path and you're defending your their mistakes over and over and over, and you're just like, no, you fuck up all the time. And I don't blame the wrestlers. I want to be clear. Uh, to, you know, a lot of times we're like, well, why is Jay, why are people happy with James Storm in NXT and not in TNA? Well, because they're like, holy fuck, finally, he's going to be on a stage where he won't have to put over fucking, I don't know. It's just, it's different, man. It's different. It's, WWE sucks, but at least they have a direction. TNA is all over the place, and they're just like, oh, never mind. I don't. That's what. That's why I don't review TNA. That that rant could have went on for forty fucking minutes. TNA storylines are just crap. I have given up on TNA, and that's from Robert Kofi. All right. Um, the Moon says, as someone new to New Japan, Wrestle Kingdom main event makes sense to me. Yeah, and that, that's what they want. The Moon. That's what New Japan wants. As I haven't even seen much of the last few years prior to Wrestle Kingdom Nine. However, there is clearly a disconnect with the Japanese fans. At the last pay per view, I thought Nato was the MVP. His work was unique and truly uh, absorbing. However, there was a very strange Cena like vibe to the match in which it was very clear everyone knew Nato wasn't going to win. Oh, yeah. It just, like, I think, and this is a Japanese dirt sheet, Japanese rumors. And the thing is with Japanese um, blogs, sometimes they kayfabe it. But um, Naito said um, they were, he was in an interview, and I'm going to badly translate this. So, no, this is a horrible translation from a punch-drunk Marine that can't remember shit. But he says, yeah, if I beat Tanahashi, I'm going to have to defend this briefcase. You know, I'm making up the number. 300 more times because anything Tanahashi wants, New Japan gives him. And according to some Japanese bloggers or Japanese Twitter sphere in Japanese, um, he got in trouble for that. So um, I don't know how true it is because, you know, they like to flirt with the kayfabe line. 
but there's rumors that Naito got in trouble after that last big event, and so did Bullet Club. How true are those rumors? You don't know because it's very Bill Apter ish flirting a line, kayfabe line. So I'm just telling you what I read. However, there was a very oh – yeah, we already did that. I noticed a couple of Tanahashi moments during the crowd laughed as you described. Yeah, it's just what the fuck are you going to do? As it's an in-joke if, is that he never loses. Yeah, yeah. It's just – and all that, but yeah. – it's just – and it's not even Tanahashi. He's such a nice guy. He's such a great person. He's such a great wrestler. It's just I, – I think they think you have to book someone like Cena, and you don't. I, I just, I don't think, if you ever run a company, never have just one star. It's just, it's bad booking. It's bad, bad booking. Um, Wrestle Kingdom 10 really needs to be a clear win for Okada. Yeah, and even then it's going to be too late. I'm going to be there by my fucking self because none of my fucking friends want to go. And I'm be like, woo, should have been last year. Maybe you can get a should have been last year chant going. Um, and if Tanahashi wins, uh, maybe we can get a fucking Matt Hardy chant going. <laughs> Knowing New Japan, I'm like, what? The fans want Matt Hardy? No. Uh, Wrestling again needs to be a clear win for Okada. Or New Japan are going to end up the same situation as WWE in that their main event star will be really hurting the rest of the roster and the company. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's just, <clears throat> it's out of control. You know, and here's the crazy part. <clears throat> Okada is under the radar. A lot of people think, like, there's rumblings, like, oh, well, if it wasn't for Tamanashi, Okada would be a pain in the ass, too. But Okada's a lot younger and a lot cooler as far as that goes. Yeah, because let me tell you something. Um, I, 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 dun, 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 dun. I volunteer at an orphanage. Everyone wanted Okada and Nakamura to be in the finals of the G1. And when they weren't, they literally just had no interest. It went from, do you think Nakamura can win? Do you think Okada's going to win? If Okada wins, what's he going to do? They were so much intrigued. Next day, no one. Not a goddamn soul. Like It was like, oh yeah, Tanahashi won. So you can't even say it's for kids because Okada has the playing cards. Okada, it's just it's fucking stupid. That's what the fuck it is. It's... Uh, I noticed it. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. All right, yeah, we got to read that. And I am Mikey says, hey, Coco, what do you think about Vince spazzing out Brock and Taker bleeding? <clears throat> I don't know if it's true, but if it is, I imagine he just spazzes out all the time. What the fuck's he going to do? Fire Brock and Taker, and that's why they do it. You know, here's the thing. Fuck you, Vince. You, your fucking rules stand for nothing. Oh, Hornswoggle doesn't pass the fucking wellness policy, but everyone else does? <laughs> okay, okay. It's just bullshit, dude. And fucking, you know what? It's one of those things when a company treats everyone like shit, I'm glad the superstars fuck over the company. You know? it's. It, I, would feel, I would be like, oh, Vince has a point if like he ran a tight ship and treated everyone fair. But no, it's fucking ass-kissing mania. And it's fucking ridiculous. It's it's Kevin Dunn, Vince McMahon, and they taste your penis. And if they don't like the taste of your penis, you're not <coughs> going anywhere. It's bullshit, dude. So when I see a star like CM Punk, Albert, the former Albert Del Rio, uh, Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, be like, fuck off. We're going to do what we want. Fuck Vince and his spazzing out. Um, and trying to ban blood in WWE. Um, do you think Vince needs to just stop now, just legit give up his reign of power for the next generation? Yeah, I've been saying this for a while. I, I'm hoping that WrestleMania at Dallas, they break an attendance record, and he just steps down. I, I, you know what? I'm even willing to sacrifice it being a shitty mania. Have Vince McMahon and his friends go crazy and promote it as Vince's last WrestleMania, and then pass the torch down to Triple H. <laughs> he's not popping a rating anymore. He's losing money like fucking crazy. Um, you know, there's already been, you know, reports that fucking the network is nowhere near where it's supposed to be because he's a fucking idiot. And that's the thing. People are like, he's a genius, but you can be out of touch, dude. You know? And is he really a genius? Go back in time. You're in the territory days. 
you get a great deal to buy the company from your dad that's in New York. That's like playing the game on easy. You know, if there was a like Sim City like history game, like those booking games, who the fuck ain't winning the territory wars with WWE? He's not a fucking genius. Um, you know, he's right place, right time, and you know, he works hard. He's very good at marketing, but you know, look look at all this shit. Besides WrestleMania, all that shit is stolen. None of it's his. Um, seeing the micromanaging is killing the promo the promotion's progress. Yeah. That and you know, you got people that here's the thing about WWE and TNA, and I don't know about other companies, but that de I definitely know in WWE and TNA. The biggest problem with WWE and TNA is no one in that company gives a fuck about the product being better. Everyone cares about their position. They care about their position way more than they care about the product getting better. You know, if 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 Triple H comes by and says, oh, I have this amazing athlete, Kevin Dunn is going to ruin that amazing athlete because he cares about his position. You know, if you want to hear something sad, go to, go to a WWE creative meeting. You know what they're going to fucking say? It's only wrestling. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, the reason they say that is because they only give a fuck about their position. No one in the back cares about the product being better. No one. Even Triple H. Triple H is making NXT great because he wants to prove he can run the whole company. He's not making it great because he wants wrestling to be great. And <clears throat> that's the problem. And then you got psychopaths like Paul Heyman, and they're not going to give him the ball because he gives a fuck about the product and not position. So he'll be like, no, this is fucking stupid. And I'll be like, that's not how we do it here in the corporate world. We wear ties. Um, let's see. Vinny says, hey, Coco, do you, do you, if you had a choice of any wrestler from WWE NXT to go to Lucha Underground, who would you choose? Maybe Cesaro. I'm trying to think. Cesaro just to be free. Um, Dolph Ziggler, but he really, he really let me down. Um... Obviously, the Lucha Dragons would be kind of cool. They'd fit in really good. Uh, maybe Daniel Bryan, you know? I don't know. But, yeah, um, someone that could really wrestle. You know, they already got Big Rick. I'm retired. No, I'm not. I'm retired. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I would choose someone that could wrestle. Sami Zayn would be perfect. Um, I would love to see more Japanese wrestlers, so maybe Kenta or, um, you know, Kana. Um, I'm trying to think. Who else? I think Prince Pretty would do really good there, you know, with the back scene cuts and all that. So it would be interesting. But, yeah, um, I definitely – because they already got muscle heads. I would definitely go for what a great wrestler. I am Mikey. The Young Bucks are teasing a big contract. Yeah, I've seen that. That's kind of awesome. Um, the Young Bucks. Dude, the Young Bucks – Ric Flair, they're the opposite of Ric Flair. They understand how social media and the internet works. They're just, if there's guys that understand marketing for today, it's the Young Bucks. Like, <clears throat> one of my jobs outside of yelling at a camera on YouTube about wrestling is marketing. Um, I work for some big marketing companies in Tokyo. And, um, yeah, they're just the Young Bucks get it. They understand how to work technology today. And, you know, Gary Vanderchuk and other major marketers always like, oh, you know, uh, market for today. Don't market for five years ago. <clears throat> the Young Bucks completely understand that. Um, he's in a big contract on Twitter deal. is signed with one of the major promotions, Lucha Underground, WWE, NXT, ROH, New Japan, or TNA. If it's going to be I, – I, I like that they're teasing us, but if it's going to be ROH, that's going to be such a letdown. Because they're like on almost, they're on almost all the ROH shows as it is. Um, and hopefully – I mean, don't they already have a deal with New Japan? If it's not NXT, <coughs> if it's not NXT, TNA, or Lucha Underground, I'm going to be like, way to go, young box. Tweeted about nothing, assholes. But what are your predictions? TNA and Wrestling is officially listed – Andrew Everett and Trevor Lee as official roster members on the TNA site. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, the Young Bucks can definitely give TNA what they're looking for. If I was TNA, I would just throw the money at them. I would just throw the money at them. <coughs> you, you have to – anything 
everything the Young Bucks do right, TNA does wrong. And um, I, I just think the Young Bucks could help save that company wherever it's going. Um, the Moon, is it a coincidence Brock bleeds every match? <laughs> no, Brock just doesn't give a fuck when Vince loses his shit. Or is it Vince obviously giving Brock permission? I don't even know if I believe Vince loses his shit. I think it might just be ha ha. Even like even if it's not working the internet, it might be just like working the boys. Like oh man, Brock fucking bleeding. <laughs> like good job, Brock. I just I don't see Vince. <clears throat> if Vince is really losing his shit in the back, he's more out of touch than fucking ever. Um, Brock permission because he's one of the golden boys. Then putting out fake rumors, he's saying, "Oh, see, so yeah, Moon's already on. Moon's already fucking two steps ahead of me." Uh, make it look like Brock does it on his own. Yeah, I, that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Or Undertaker and Brock are like, who gives a fuck? But yeah, eh, eh, it could be. It could, I just don't believe he's really freaking the fuck out over blood. And if he is, he's fucking working somebody. Because if you're really mad, just fucking don't book the goddamn match. Or say, hey, don't be a jerk nuts. So, who knows? All right, I think that's it. I'm gonna. I got a lot more questions saved up, but I think I'm gonna save that for another show. Thank you for the comments. I'm gonna refresh one more time, and then if I miss any, I'll just add it to the list, and I'll try to do more of these Q and As. They don't exactly get the views, but it helps to. Um, it helps you know build a community, baby. Check out ProWrestling.me. All right, I am Mikey in the Moon. You'll be getting the last questions. WWE has retired Christian's in-ring activity. Do you feel WWE is tempting the same method to try and force Daniel Bryan to retire, seeing that they have pulled the trigger on Christian and Corey Graves' career earlier than they have expected? Um, maybe, <clears throat> maybe. Um, I, I suffer from concussions, bad, 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 and um, I, I don't know. I, I. You know, I know WWE is their dream and all that, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, I wanted to be the baddest fucking Marine in the world, and I ignored concussion after concussion after concussion. And I'm going to tell you, yeah, I was on Super Yeah, I got to meet the presidents. Yeah, I got to travel the world. Yeah, I got to fucking do a lot of awesome shit in the Marine Corps. And now I twitch. I, I, I sometimes stutter. I, you know... I have to take time off of work sometimes. It takes, you know, concussions, they add up, and it takes a lot away from you. Um, concussions took away its B career for me. Concussions took a radio broadcasting career for me. You know, sometimes I don't. Concussions are nothing to fuck with, bro. Um, I, I maybe It's one of those maybe it's because it's affected my life, but WWE is not worth that. It's just not. Um, especially if you've already had it. Like, I feel bad for Corey Graves because he never had the spotlight. But Christian Dan O'Brien, dude, retire if you have concussions, man. It's not fucking worth it. It's not. Um, WWE posted Christian, uh, so, uh, let's see, solidified his legacy and left active competition still at top of his game. Oh, that's nice. Not true, but nice. <coughs> it fucking, it makes you very angry how his title run was handled. Fuck you, Edge. I, I still I still hold that against Edge. Everyone was pissed. Everyone got behind Christian. Edge is like, oh, don't worry. This storyline's going to work out. How did it work out? <coughs> Edge, if you could stop fighting the Flash, would you like to tell me how the storyline worked out? No, we have Edge live in studio. He's just fucking speechless because he's a piece of shit that took his company over his fucking best friend. <coughs> Christian's last match was in March 2014, and after suffering several questions, his in-ring status remained unknown for quite some time. I hope they give Christian a good side gig. I really do. Um, I'm a big fan of Christian. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does something good. But if I was Dan O'Brien, you know, if he's really that fucking injured, no. I mean, I broke my neck. I've had concussions. I broke my back. And I'm telling you, dude. You've been in the limelight. It's you've been to the mountaintop. There's no reason why to put over fucking Batista or Batista's son or John Cena. Not fucking worth it, bro. Thank you for the memories, and I love you, dude. Like if you're healthy, fuck that. Come on back and fucking save us from this fucking dreaded bullshit. But if you're just even an ounce fucking, you're gonna have concussion problems later. Not fucking worth it, bro. 
especially especially since you've been to the mountaintop and especially since look at fucking WWE. But, hey, each their own. Um, the Moon. Regarding the network, one of the reasons I unsubscribed after Fastlane was I don't like the idea that most of what I watch on there were old pay-per-views, yet the wrestlers featured get no royalties from those views. Really? I did not know that. That's shitty. <laughs> I did not know that. That is, that is shitty. Shitty if true, my friends. <clears throat> All right, keep the questions coming. I'll try to do more Stump the Idiots. I still have a bunch saved up, but <clears throat> I just wanted to get back to doing this. And if my health holds up, I want to try to get back to doing daily, and I want to find new ways to help promote ProWrestling.me. Um, if you can, try to head over there now. Um, we're trying to make a nice community. Um, it's like Facebook, but it's got so many more options. I'm probably going to make a video soon telling you how awesome it is. But if you can be a Pioneer member, be active. Because let me tell you, social media, um, if you're building a website and you want a community, those Pioneer members are the most important. They, they really are. And even, even on YouTube, I still remember we used to do this show for like Ewok and uh, Stairway to Zeppelin and, and Forsaken. And that was it. And that now, you know, so the, the first couple guys um, of any community is very important. So please help us out. Help yourself out too. And check out ProWrestling.me. Be a Pioneer member. Also check out CocoSports.net or KOCOSports.com. It takes you to the same place. World War. Blah, 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 blah. Jerry's doing a real good job. So go check out those blogs. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll do one more question. Uh, I'm late for dinner. But let's see. We got one more question. Uh, YouTube. I'll punch you right in the dick, YouTube. I'm not scared. I will punch you in the dick. All right, let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Who is being wasted more? Um, Cesaro, Bo Dallas, Daniel Bryan, Becky Lynch, or Moose? Um, let's see. Um, that's from Lennox Wooderson. Hold on. Let me do something real quick. Boop, boop, boop. All right. I apologize. Who's being wasted more? Cesaro, Bo Dallas, Daniel Bryan, um, Becky Lynch, or Moose? Well, Moose has still got potential, so I don't know. Uh, Becky Lynch, I don't think, is being wasted. I think she's perfect where she's at. Um, Daniel Bryan, it all depends on their health. If he's completely healthy, it's definitely him. Bo Dallas is hilarious, but I think Cesaro. Cesaro is definitely being wasted more. Um, LB Clash of Kings says, which is better, pizza or burgers? Pizza. Soda or water? <sighs> Health-wise, water. But, man, did I fucking grew up on soda. Fucking <sighs> soda. Soda is just straight-up poison. Uh, I'm going water because I, I, I don't want people to fucking be as horrible in health as I am. Nikki's boobs are punching yourself in the face. Uh, Nikki's boobs. I mean, I might hate Nikki Bella, but I love boobs. I, I love all boobs. That's the thing about me is like for real like I, I live in a big city so i just walk around and like if i could like just go and honk every set of boob female boobs um ever i would like even the little ones old small big i just love boobs so now even though i hate nikki bella i think my love of boobs is higher than my hate of nikki bella fantastic four movies or a train wreck movie starring john cena um i'm not really I don't know. I'm not really... This is more for Wrestling Ranting. I'm not really much of a movie watcher. I watched both of them. Um, I didn't... I, my, whole, my standard of movies. This is my standard of movies. <clears throat> Michael Bay. If it's worse than a Michael Bay movie, it's bad. If it's better than a Michael Bay Transformers movie, it's good. And even though Fantastic Four and Trainwreck got, like, shitty fucking reviews, I only... Because I love watching movies. Um, I don't take movies as seriously as I do pro wrestling. I don't know if that's a good thing, but both Fantastic Four and Trainwreck surpassed, um, Michael Bay's. So, um, there you go. But I'm going to probably say Fantastic Four was worse. And I don't know that, but we should be supporting John Cena. If John Cena becomes successful, maybe he'll never come back. All right. Vince Russo booking or current booking right now on WWE? <sighs> I don't know, because Vince Russo on the podcast, you know, this is the thing weird about fucking people. When they're on a podcast, they're like, come up with these awesome ideas, and they say what the internet wants, and then when they start booking, they suck. Um, I it despise Vince Russo, and I've seen TNA scripts, and I've seen what Vince Russo was written on TNA scripts. 
And even though Vince Russo says the right thing in his podcast, I'm still going to go with current booking on WWE. You know, Vince Russo does say some cool stuff on his podcast that gives you hope. But if you actually read his scripts, you're like, no, no, no. Mar, uh, let's see, marry, me marrying Kana or you marrying Kana? Well, I mean, if you're talking about the WWE superstar, probably you. But if you're talking factual, my wife's name is Kana. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've already married a Kana. I haven't married, you know, the Kana you're thinking about, but I've married one. Lennox Wooder. Oh, we already did this one. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And I think that's it. We'll save the rest. Yeah. Boop, boop. I wanted to go 45. I'm going to be a little bit late. Let's refresh. Yep. All right. That's it. All right. I think we got everything, folks. If I missed your comment, it's not out of being disrespectful. It's out of running out of time and I didn't see it. Oh, we do get some on Twitter at do 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 Vinny. Hey, Coco. All right. Let's see. Sports fan 77. Thank you for the favor and retweeting us. And Vinny says, Hey Coco, do you think that in the future, the Miz and Tyler Breeze could become a very good tag team? Um, I boom, boom pitched this idea and I thought so, but now that the Tyler Breeze is on his own, I don't know. The Miz is kind of stuck. I wonder if the Miz has an injury that we don't know about. Um, I think they could be a good tag team. They have some type of personality. Um, when I heard the idea from boom, boom, it sounded really great, but I don't know. What is the Miz doing? Um, I think they could be a very good tag team, but they would have to adjust the Miz. Um, you know, like, I think the Miz going to wrestle John Cena at WrestleMania and Tyler Breeze, that Miz and Tyler Breeze would be a dream team of characters, you know? But Miz now, what is Miz now? I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Miz has some, like, career-ending injury we don't know about. Um, I don't know. But um, I think, let's put it this way. I think they could be a great tag team. I think they could be a good tag team. I just don't think they will be. Like, I think if, like, if Paul Heyman or it happened in NXT, I could see it being a good tag team. But the problem is Tyler Breeze is so popular that, you know, now that he's on Raw and he got, he got, he got over in SmackDown, he's fighting Dolph Ziggler. It's kind of like maybe at NXT a couple months ago, Tyler Breeze needed the Miz. But now, like, Tyler Breeze is like, why the fuck would I team up with you? You know, kayfabe slash shoot style. Um, I think they could be a very good tag team, but I think the Miz is the downfall and the booking is the downfall. But, you know, if you're in a perfect, you know, world, you could put the Miz going into fighting John Cena versus Tyler Breeze, then that'd be awesome. But who knows? Who knows? Um, I don't think it will ever happen, but it could. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe. Check out ProWrestling.me. Sign up. Be active. And also check out CocoSports.net. I am officially two minutes late for dinner, and fat people don't like being late for dinner. So with that, I am over. Bum, bum, bum. Okay? I am over. Bum, 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 bum.